my fellow Americans, as President and Commander-in-Chief, it is my duty to the American people to report that renewed hostile actions against United States ships on the high seas in the Gulf of Tonkin have today required me to order the military forces of the United States to take action in reply. When you're a midshipman at the Naval Academy and a senior, you don't pay attention to the news. At least I didn't. So when we, I signed up for the first class for flight school. And when I got down there, we got involved into the aviation training program and you know, definitely don't watch the news. So basically I went through almost all my flight training without even listening to news or checking news. And so basically we didn't even know how to spell Vietnam. And then when we got out to California and got into the replacement air group, uh, VF-124, the, uh, the RAG we call it, the replacement air group. Uh, then we started to live more normal life and watch the news and hear that Vietnam was cooking off and figuring out that uh, and the reason I got assigned as a fighter pilot on the West Coast was to go to a small carrier, the Hancock, and then be deployed to Western Pacific for Vietnam duty. At the time, it was just a possibility. And in August of 64 was when the North Vietnamese made an attack on naval vessels that is often called the Gulf of Tonkin incident, which some believe was actually staged as an excuse to get us deeply involved in the war. But I let you make your own decision about that by studying it. What are, what are your thoughts on it? Um, I know some of the people that actually flew on that day and they're very suspicious about whether it was an actual attack or not. My first cruise for Vietnam was on the Intrepid and we left the States in June and our first combat was in uh, July uh, 24, I believe. You hear about Vietnam, I was in pilot training for um, teaching other people how to, to fly and ground school and everything else. So we had always knew there was a Vietnam. Uh, I think my initial idea of Vietnam was that it was a conflict, it wasn't a war. I guess with all the training we received, uh, it was our responsibility to pay for uh, that by doing the service the military wanted us to do. Tonkin Gulf, as my understanding of history of that, uh, there was a mistake. Um, we thought we were being attacked, we weren't, and so we created an, an attack. And uh, at that particular time, the talking heads in Washington couldn't figure out the time difference between Saigon and Washington, and so they announced the first strike an hour before it happened. And so obviously it gave the Vietnamese of North Vietnam the great opportunity to engage the airplanes that came in. Typical, I think, of the politicians running a war and not the military.